So I'm doing x over log x, okay? And you can see I've broken it apart into x and the reciprocal of log x, okay? So there's x, there's the easy part. I'm not as familiar with 1 over log x. So rather than put three component graphs onto my Cartesian plane and get really confused, I'm going to do log x over here and then do its reciprocal. And then once I know what that reciprocal looks like, then I'll put it onto here and I will do the multiplication. Okay? So this is log x, right? This is log x. Now I know, see here, the order is zero, right? That tells me, that tells me that I'm going to have a vertical asymptote, right? For 1 over log x. Okay? Now, what's happening as I approach here, as I approach this asymptote? Well, I'm approaching zero from below, right? Which means the reciprocal will approach negative infinity. Okay, you're right with that? I mean, it is asymptotic after all. But then what's happening as I go to the left? Well, log x is approaching negative infinity, right? So the reciprocal will approach 1 over negative infinity, which is a really, really tiny number, but negative. Okay? Now, I can't actually get to 0. It's a hollow circle, right? But I can get arbitrarily close, as close as I want to. Right? It's like, well, how close to 0 do you want? Do you want to get to like minus 1 over a billion, billion, billion? Well, just go down far enough, and you'll get there. Okay? So that's what this little bit looks like. What's happening over here? This is the easy bit, isn't it? Right? Um, this is positive, and it's approaching 0, the denominator. So therefore, that's approaching up that way. And then this guy grows. He does grow slowly, but he never stops. So therefore, this is going to approach um, y equals 0 as an asymptote. Okay? So now that blue graph, I'm going to put over here as my, uh, one of my components. Okay? So I've got this kind of shape. And this kind of shape. Okay. So now, when I think about multiplying these together, multiplying, okay? What's going to happen over here on the left? What's going to happen? Tell me again, remind me, what's the equation of that asymptote that I've just drawn in, the vertical one? X equals one. X equals one. Now, if that's x equals one, what can you tell me about the ordinates? Here and here and here and here. Tell me about these ordinates. They're all fractions. They're all proper fractions. They're all small numbers, right? So therefore, when I multiply these smaller numbers by these guys, they're going to be smaller than these, right? So that's going to make it above, closer to the x-axis, right? I still can't be equal to zero, right? I'm still going to approach this asymptote, though, and I'm going to approach it from above this line. Okay, you see that? That's a bit weird, but that's how you can know. Yeah, it's been squeezed in there. It can't possibly be beneath. Okay, because we made that opposite argument with 1 over x. Okay, then what happens over here? What happens over here? Now, I think you can probably see I'm going to be climbing off to infinity, right? Because uh, this y equals x line, it approaches 1, right? So therefore, it's not dropping very fast. So this guy, which is growing, is going to take over, okay? But then the question becomes, well, what about in here? I've got the same problem of increasing versus decreasing, and you have to ask the question, which one is going to take over? Okay. Now, here's how I'm going to make the argument. Okay. Again, visuals, right? Um, down here we'll do. Okay. Which one is growing faster, x or log x? Quickly. Okay. It's going to be this guy, right? This is faster, and this is slower, right? So this grows faster, and this one grows slower. Right? Mm -hmm. Now therefore, it stands to reason, if you take reciprocals, that means that this denominator is going to shrink faster. And this one will shrink slower. Right? It's actually, it, gonna, it ends up looking very, very similar. Right? But that's enough to say this one, 1 over x, is shrinking faster than 1 over log x is shrinking. Okay? Now remember, we're comparing x with 1 over log x. If x and 1 over x were multiplied, you'd get a flat line. They're exactly, the, they're exactly matched. But 1 over log x isn't pulling as hard, right? He is shrinking, but he's shrinking slower. Okay? Therefore, uh, what color? Therefore, x is going to take over. He's going to be growing faster. So you end up getting this downward, but he has to turn. He has to turn around like that. And again, once we learn the calculus for these functions, we'll be able to determine exactly where it turns. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was e. Okay?